Hey, how are you going? Brett Hetherington. I've been asked to give a talk around what is the best structure or what is a good structure and app to operate a business in Australia. Currently in Australia and app, there's four different ways in app that you can operate your business. You can either do it through a company, you can do it through a trust, a partnership, or of course you can just be a sole trader. I think the five key things that when I sit down and I'm talking to a client about what should be involved in structuring the business, I'm looking at definitely firstly complexity, you don't want too complex of a structure for the client to run their business. Two, you're wanting to allow for some future growth within the business. Three, you're definitely looking around asset protection. You're trying to protect the client's assets away from creditors and litigation. Fourth, of course, we're all looking for some tax minimisation. We all want to pay less tax. And I think five, something that I'm passionate about, is ultimately the end goal being able to create wealth. Okay, let's look at those five points in a little bit more detail. Okay, let's look at complexity. Sure, we can set up structures of companies and trusts, but at the end of the day, what are we really trying to achieve for the client? Have we got a structure in that that the client understands? Most likely, no. I think complexity is a big issue. You try to make it as simple as you can, so it's easy to work with and the client understands. Secondly, growth. You want a structure that enables the client to be able to grow into the future. No, probably never have that ability to fully understand where the client's business is going to be in five to 10 years time. Factors such as competition, legislation, uh, some of the things that may impact where the business is going to be in five years time. But I think you need a structure that allows the business to grow you want to avoid transactional issues such as capital gains, tax and stamp duty into the future. Okay, asset protection. I think one of the key issues, a lot of industries, a lot of professionals out there and that, that would work in an environment where they may be subject to more litigation, more action around creditors than other professions. So for me, um, one of the key focuses and one of my three pillars, asset protection, tax minimisation and wealth creation, you're ultimately trying to be able to provide a structure for the client to protect what they've grown, not only through their business, but also through their personal assets. Okay, tax minimisation. Who doesn't want to pay less tax? It's one of the pain points for all of us in business. We need a structure that we can actually provide for tax minimisation. Of course, no one wants to pay any more tax than they have to, for some even less than that again. So a structure should be strong around being able to provide tax minimisation. Lastly, but importantly, wealth creation. Something I'm passionate about, and ultimately, that objective or goal that you're actually trying to achieve for the business owner. The ability to be able to create wealth around the structure that you've actually set up for your business client. We want that ability to be able to create passive income around property, shares, superannuation. You want to be able to look at retirement planning all the reasons why we go into business in the first place, to be able to create wealth. Thanks very much for your time. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you.